Warning, if you're not 18 years old, get the f*** off this video. Everything you see is for educational and documentary purposes only. Viewer's discretion is advised. What's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Deuce of Farms. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a DIY hydroponic system build. It is a deep water culture hydro system. This system right here, I currently have. It all came put together. I ordered it off of Amazon. I used it in a previous grow. And I liked it. It was very convenient. I didn't really have to put anything together. It cost roughly about $119 off of Amazon. And that was before tax. So after tax, it totaled about $140. I was going to order another one of these systems. But since I was on a time constraint and it wouldn't come in for another month, I decided to go ahead and do it myself and build my own and also try to save myself some money. So the first thing I did was I went to Lowe's and got anything that I could in person. So that being buckets and spray paint, everything else I had to order online. As you can see, the buckets do allow light to penetrate through, which that's going to cause the mold and mildew and stuff like that to be able to grow in the buckets. So I have to seal them with the spray paint. The buckets were $4.98 each and the spray paint was $4.68. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray paint them just to match those other buckets. <laughs> I ended up running out of spray paint. Uh, I thought it would be enough for all four buckets. It was barely enough for three. So after seeing this, hopefully you plan accordingly. Just after that one coat of spray paint, there's a huge difference. Now looking into this bucket, it's pretty much pitch black, which is gonna stop a lot of the light leak. There's that fourth bucket, which didn't get any spray paint, and you can see there's still a lot of light leaking through it. But I don't really feel like going back to get spray paint. So I'm going to leave it how it is, and if problems arise, then from there I'll get the spray paint. But for the most part, I think I'll be fine. It took a few days, but I finally got my air pump and the airline. I ordered both off of Amazon separately. The air pump was $39.19, and the airline came out to a total of $10.99. It also came with everything I needed, a whole bunch of extra stuff, but the main thing being the air stones. And the 6-inch, 5-gallon basket lids. They came out to be 1116. I ended up getting these from CF Hydroponics. Uh, there was plenty of them out there. It was just hard to find some on Amazon at the time of this recording. That could have changed. Now, when it comes to inserting the hose into the bucket, there's a few options. You can either route it right through the basket lid, which is quick and simple. All you do is just pop it through one of the holes and then you pull it down. And then from there, you would connect your air stone to it. There's also another method in which you would simply just drill a hole and then from there mount your air hose through it and into the air stone and then that would just be on the actual bucket itself that method does require you to have a drill which i do i did try to use that method but my drill wasn't powerful enough my actual regular drill was in a whole nother state so i tried to make it work with that the drill bit was too small so i just decided to go ahead and go with the lid and just mount the air hose through that now I'll be getting my air hose ready. I got 25 feet of it in four buckets. So all I'm going to be doing is cutting them evenly. Depending on how many buckets you have and what you're trying to do, that'll dictate how many feet of air hose you need. What I suggest is having about five feet per bucket. That's all going to be up to you on what you need. The only reason I say five feet is it's going to allow you some freedom within your tent. Or if you want to have a longer air line and run your air pump on the outside of your tent, you could. And it's fairly cheap, so if you end up getting too much, it's fine. It can be used at a later time. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect my air hose to my air pump. It should be a snug fit, as they are both 3 16th. When it comes to the air pump, you want to make sure you don't get something too cheap, or make sure you read the reviews. Uh, I currently use this on another grow, and I've had great success with it. And all the reviews previously were great. I've seen a lot of them that had bad reviews, and I almost bought them because of the price but I'm glad I didn't. Make sure you do your research because this is something that could make or break your plant's growth. It's also nice to have an extra one on the side just in case this one does go out. That way your plants aren't suffocating. You can get another one back up in action before you have to wait on it to arrive. Since I'm about to be using these in an upcoming grow, I went ahead and filled them up with water and also added my hydrogen clay pebbles in, which the hydrogen clay pebbles are fairly cheap. I got this huge bag that's gonna last me for a while for about 20 bucks. Now I'm just going to take the air hose and I'm going to route it to one of the holes in the lid. I could have done this prior to filling up the buckets with clay pebbles, but I forgot to and there's still room for me to do so now. And then after that, I'm going to remove the lid. I'm going to go ahead and grab the air stones and put them on. The air stones that came with the kit are fairly small 
and I thought that they wouldn't get the job done but I was actually surprised because they produced a lot of air bubbles so I decided to go with them and then I could always order the other air stones at a later date but I don't think the air stones really matter too much because I have seen people just run the air pump without air stones and they've had great success. The total of this entire grow came out to be just about $86 so I did save myself about $60. I'm pretty impressed by that and from now on if I ever need one again I'll probably just make them myself. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned.